So on Tuesday, we had the live stream for Into the Light, where Bungie revealed the new sort of horde mode called Onslaught. And it's safe to say the chat for that live stream was certainly lively. And I guess really there was a mixture of commentary from players of the game. And with community sentiment being a little bit rocky and expectations for new content being high, there were definitely players who aired their disappointments with Destiny. But at the same time, there were those who are relatively excited for the content that's coming down the road in April. I actually didn't get to catch a lot of Bungie's live chat because we were streaming on the channel right here. And on the most part, you guys who subscribe to this channel Channel are pretty chill. But a few things happened during the Bungie live stream, which again, I didn't especially notice while it was live. And on the Bungie end, there was a lot of negativity, but also what turned into some fairly extreme toxicity. So much so that it's been reported on by a few outlets. And a game post shared that Destiny 2's Into the Light live stream turns dark as racial slurs and toxic stream requests flood the developer. I'm not sure whether you guys have seen, but the developer found the notification feed flooded with usernames containing slurs. And unfortunately, the Steam username for one of the Bungie profiles did actually become visible momentarily during the stream. And that's where a problem started, and that particular account ended up being hounded by friends requests and messages, many of which were actually displayed on the live stream, and equally many of which were completely unacceptable, toxic and abusive comments. Which, let's be real, they were sent to both be harmful, but also because the folks who were doing it had an awareness that this was actually showing up on Bungie's live footage. Now there are two different sides to this. And firstly, I'd say it's certainly unfortunate that the details about the Bungie account were actually revealed to the public, but also the notifications sent to that account were actually allowed to be visible on the screen. And of course, if you stream a lot, that's kind of basic stuff. You're going to want to avoid that being visible to the stream in general. So it's something for Bungie to double check next time. However, of course, it isn't Bungie's fault that certain developers and individuals during that stream were attacked in a really unacceptable way. However, some of the folks who engaged with this kind of abusive behavior have had a bit of a comeuppance that actually affects their Destiny account. So the D2 team said, it was disappointing to see notifications. And we know that they were from a few awful individuals and not reflective of the community at large. But they say we were able to track down the accounts of several individuals who sent harmful notifications and we have banned them from Destiny 2. They also add, we're taking extra measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. And we look forward to sharing more info in next week's stream. And again, it's worth clarifying. I don't want to actually verbally mention a lot of the stuff that came up on the screen because I don't think it's appropriate. But this wasn't players area grievances about the game, or even criticizing the content that was being shown off. But instead, it was just purely toxic and incredibly hateful, targeted abuse at certain individuals essentially on that live stream. As well as being toxic and totally unacceptable, it's an incredibly childish way to behave, right? Not in a sort of innocent way, but more as a reflection of the intelligence of the folks who send those kind of messages in the first place. And now a bunch of those players have actually been banned from Destiny 2 altogether. We know what Destiny players can be like as well. Some players will complain all all day about the game, and even go so far as to abuse Bungie developers who, let's be real, most of them aren't making the decisions about the direction of the game, most of them aren't making decisions about monetization, or whether or not they take on board feedback from the community. And a lot of those devs are pretty passionate, and are doing the best with the tools that they have to make the game as good as possible. So while I understand normal criticism about the game, I think there are a lot of folks in the community, and in the gaming space in general, and on the internet in general, who really need to evaluate their position in life and the ways that they spending their time really with a focus of trying to make other people unhappy. We even got word from Noah, one of the developers on that live stream, who wanted to clarify a couple of things on Reddit. And firstly, considering one of the devs had ended up on their desktop during the live stream, they confirmed that they didn't alt tab, but there is apparently a bug with Windows 11 where if you have full screen windows open, it can randomly minimize. And Noah points out they were playing with a controller at the time, so this was just a totally unfortunate glitch and not actually a mistake on the part of the developers. But he also says, I actually didn't see any of the friend requests on stage as there was too much going on and I wasn't paying attention. Especially considering the sort of racial harassment component of this, Noah maintains that they wanted to be up there and they wanted to talk to the community and they've been watching dev live streams for Destiny since they were 13. So it wasn't something that they weren't going to do just because they were afraid of some trolls essentially. And Noah finishes by saying, I hope I can do more in the future. And I just think again, it's a really sad state of affairs that there are certain people on the fringes of this community who are prepared to treat anyone else this way, let alone the people who are actually trying to make the game better. And I'll reiterate again, I understand that there are criticisms about the game and I understand that Bungie as a whole have made some significant mistakes with Destiny 2, but it certainly is never a justification to personally target other people in such a toxic and potentially damaging way, right? But as we've seen, this has resulted in certain players actually being banned from the game. And again, I think there are a lot of folks who need to evaluate their actions, actually sit down for a minute and consider to themselves, is it reasonable to behave this way because I'm bored or fed up of a video game? I don't think it is. And there are a lot of people, unfortunately, around us in the gaming space who need to try much harder at being
being decent human beings. But there we go. I just wanted a quick conversation about it. Hopefully it'll be onwards and upwards, both in terms of the behavior around Bungie's live streams, but also the way Bungie are configuring those accounts and managing the streams, right? Because there was an error there as well, which of course by no means makes it justified. And equally, hopefully the next stream will be a juicy one in terms of gameplay and rewards. But give us your thoughts on it all down below. Again, I understand the criticism about the game, but it's just impossible to get your head around why people would be so toxic and childish, but also again, potentially cause harm to individuals who are just doing their best to make the game enjoyable for other players. Share your thoughts down below, but that's a little news update about it. If you want to be kept up to date with hopefully more positive news about Bungie and Destiny, then get subscribed to the channel and I'll keep you posted. But otherwise, we don't have to see eye to eye on absolutely everything, but the least we can do is try and be decent to each other, right? For now though, guys, I hope you have an awesome day.